Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. A reminder for myself, this is the month of 108. This is the month of Kawthar and awliyaullah pull the beads together to make the beatific tasbih of haqqaiqs. That when they're teaching this is the twelfth pardeh, that there are twelve eternal hijabs, pardeh, curtains, veils that Allah is dressing Nurul Muhammadi eternally. The twelfth, we go to the app nurmuhammad.com, you can click at the bottom of the page for the app. And in the app you go to the months, you go to the twelfth month Zulhaj, then the general understanding of the hijab of this month that is eternally Allah's zikr. In Allahi wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi from that haqqaiq Allah for just us to understand there are 12 parda that Allah is continuously dressing the dress of Nur Muhammad This 12th month in our movement towards this ocean of marifa what Zulhaj, then you look down it says entryway of 12 times 9 is 108. That's where you get the number 108. When we read in our Naqshbandi awrad Dalal Khirat, the 108th name out of the 210 names in Dalal Khirat is Abu Tayyib, the good father, the fragrant one, means the beatific fragrance of Sayyidina Muhammad is from this ocean of 108, so these are all like beads of reality. So in this ocean of 108 and the secret of 108 has a secret from the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Abu Tayyib. And out of 99 names of Allah they reduce down to the ninth name because that 108 is above 99, so that 108 equals 9. 1 plus nukht plus 8 is 9. So the ninth name of Allah that opens and Sayyidina Muhammad is a key for that reality is Al-Jabbar. Allah the one whom compels. So a Tayyib, Abu Tayyib the father of all fragrance and goodness is the key that opens Sifat Al-Jabbar on this month. And what is it open? The 108th surah. So we're teaching how to read this reality of Shamsul Arifin, one of the names of Sayyidina Muhammad If the companions are stars, Sayyidina Muhammad is a star maker, means the shams and the reality of eternal light. Allah in this creation gave us an example of eternity which are the stars. The star lacks a form and as an eternal light. Shams al Arifin means that eternal light that is the source of all Gnosticism, all ways of the Arifin and the knowers have to go through this sun and this reality to become a sun. And this is the twelfth hijab. That 1000 years Allah was praising Subhana Rabbiyal Azeem upon this light. That Allah zikr upon that light for 1000 years of Allah's years, Subhana Rabbiyal Azeem, glory be to the Lord the most sublime. When we understand these months, this is a voyage that Allah opened the lights upon Sayyidina Muhammad and we said before, it's like a tram that awliyaullah who are traversing in this reality of Sayyidina Muhammad they're moving through this. Every month they're moving on this ship on an orbit. 
Anyone who comes with them, learns from them, boards upon their ship, they're taking their soul into that journey. So means that on the month of Kawthar and the month of 108 then the significance of haqq because these are the people of haqq. Ha is eight in the value of abjad and qaf well Qur'an and Majeed is value of 100. So haqq is a value of 108. So then the people who drink from the kawthar they are the people of Ahlul Haqq, the people of truth. What Allah dressed them and blessed them in their miraj and in their pilgrimage. Because there's the pilgrimage of dunya where you're making your tawaf and there's the pilgrimage of akhirah of the malakut when Allah every year takes their soul for their real pilgrimage where they're making their tawaf around Bayt al Mahmur, which is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and all their practices there or from reality. So they drink from the kawthar as Allah gives you to drink in zamzam on this earth. That's when you go there you're like bathing in zamzam, it's just flowing everywhere. You're taking it, drinking it, wiping your face, wiping your children's face or whoever is with you. Allah's just letting the fountain of abundance flow. What do you imagine then the soul of ashiqeen? and Arifin that Allah opened for them the ziyarat their soul begins to enter into Manzil Qur'an, into the holy heart and the no haram precincts of the holy soul of Sayyidina Muhammad the real harameen that what Allah described, Alif Lam Mim ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابَ لَا الرَّيْبَ Nothing of a falsehood is in this soul and in its reality, the pure of the pure beyond belief. But it's a hudan al-mutaqeen, it's only a guidance for the mutaqeen that understood that and their souls are making that hajj. They're not asking to go on the physical hajj, when they say make intention for their hijrah and their hajj is to the haqqaiqs and to the ocean into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So Allah make their soul to make their tawaf and their seven darajats and seven paradises and their seven names. The name on the outermost ring all the way to the name and the Divinely Presence in Bayt al Mahmur in the center where the presence of the heart and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad like the core. From there that ocean flows of Manzil Qur'an, the ocean of Holy Qur'an is flowing and they're drinking from that kawthar. What is a kawthar? What is drinking? We said before we want a table from heaven. If they send you a table from heavens it's going to be kebabs of light. <laughs> how the physical mouth is going to eat a, a spiritual table? You have to understand its translation. Drinking is the knowledge that comes to you. Allah sends these lights into your soul to quench the thirst and the desire of the soul and they then equate that to a tongue knowledge that, I drank from a fountain of reality. Because how are you going to say, I was given a dress of light, nobody understand what you're talking about. So for those whom are thirsty in dunya after Ramadan they understand what it means to quench your thirst. 
that you're just waiting. That's why Allah just says, I give the reward for the one whom waiting for his for fast to break. Don't de delay it, break it quick because you understood at 150 degree temperature your lips and crack and your teeth, your tongue and lips cracking in that weather. The immense thirst that you have. So they drank from that water. But for Arifin and those whom are travelling with Arifin, they take everybody on that journey like they're in a tram moving on a cable, why? Bihablillah, they can't get lost, they don't get distracted by the wind. Allah send a cable that connect them firmly to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> that is the secret of their irshad. When irshad means that you've been given to be a guide. We are dispensing a very firm cable that look from your heart to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and it's on its course. Maybe winds will come, distractions will come but this cable is look to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So stay on board. When you stay on board they're taking you, their souls are making a tawaf around that reality, being dressed by that reality that they're from Ahlul Haqq and the light of that reality is dressing them. Light upon light is flowing from that heart upon their souls and as if they're drinking from that kawthar. And that kawthar its source, its power, its lights is manzar Qur'an haqq. Means Allah is dressing them and they're drinking from the Qur'an. Allah give the best of rewards, does not bring it down. He dresses them to drink from Qur'an and they become Hayyu al-Qayyum by the power of Qur'an. When Allah want to dress them from these lights, Allah grant them, now you're drinking you're drinking from a reality that's not created. Allah's Divinely speech is not created and you're drinking from that reality, no, no doubt you become high. Beyond the understanding that you reach to Allah's eternity, nothing shuts you off but Allah directly. So Bahrul Hayat because they're drinking from Qur'an, they're drinking from the light and from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad's reality. So when Allah make them from our oceans of Hayat means the lights of Qur'an are dressing them, dressing them, dressing them, they become Hay. They become from the ocean of eternity. As a result of these oceans Qaf wal Qur'an is dressing them. That same light when it's coming making them from Hayat, it's making them Qayyum. Because that which is eternal is now directly related to Allah No longer related to anything from earth that can feed it, sustain it, take care of it, make it sick or make it well. It's eternal. And the only source that can be power for eternity is Qayyum, the self-sustained one whose sustenance and power is like Allah is describing for dunya you've been given in a, a battery pack that never shuts off now. But when you're on earth you continuously needed sleep and wake, sleep and wake. You had a battery pack, you had to keep recharging your battery. At this reality Allah is saying, no, once you drink from this ocean of al-hayat and you become high, Qayyum came with it to dress you. That when you're Ahl al-hayat Allah make you to be from this Qayyum, that its sustenance and sustaining is only from Allah And as a result they become from the people of truth. When someone else trying to describe what truth is and their understanding is from dunya. I'm true, you're not true, I'm true because I know this one, no, you're true because I don't know who you are. Just <laughs> this is something different. What is Allah 
mean by truth? When I created this creation in truth, when I created its reality which is the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad I dressed that soul from hayat because its power source is Qur'an, the uncreated Word of Allah Its power source is high and that power from high is Qayyum and said, this creation, this light that creation is going to be coming from is in truth is haqq. Those whom excelled and gave up only the physical world as their only goal. But Allah inspired them, you should also be looking to achieve in heavens. Fi dunya hasanat wa akhirah hasanat. Be balanced in your life that keep your head towards the heavens. It is the source of power, it is the source of blessings, it's the source of every ni'mat. So then these souls they reach, they drink, their hajj is in that ocean. Their hajj is moving and making that tawaf in the real labaik. They see their Lord with the eye of their soul. They circumambulate and muhibeen, muqarrabeen whom they see the throne and the one seated upon the throne and they're moving around and making tawaf around that reality. So everything you do of your physical hajj they're doing in their spiritual hajj. For them the kawthar is everywhere. They're putting upon their soul, they're drinking in hands and cups swimming within the oceans of kawthar. That reality is the reality that we are asking to achieve, to enter into these oceans of haqqaiq, to be dressed by these blessings. That that 108 has an immense secret that Allah give for arifeen that this is the month of kawthar. This is the month in which the heart of Prophet is open, the spiritual heart of that soul. That wherever your soul is in the vicinity of the reality of the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad ahbab are allowed the entry into the heart. And they're moving within that reality, drinking from that reality, being dressed and blessed from that reality. And their arafah is that their arafeen, that the pinnacle of their understanding and their belief, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ one heart. And every year when they reach to that, that's why when we started the talk it's about struggle. So every year their arafah is being judged. How much did you struggle for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Because they are the qurban, there's no sheep up there to give in your place. You are the qurban in that presence. Didn't Nabi Musa want that? He gave his title, he gave his risalat, so I don't want to be the one giving this message to these people. I won't wear La ilaha Muhammadun Rasulullah I won't wear the two rivers meet. And he was the qurban, he was sent to the one who had the knife which was Sayyidina Khidr And he's going to zabiyya you very slowly. That's why he said, Allah's sword is dull. <laughs> Sayyidina Khidr was insulting him. Until Sayyidina Khidr threw him out, Azam, these are the great big prophets of Allah But just to show that was his year to be from arafeen of that reality. Mm. That he came to Prophet everyone's a qurban, that I'm offering to you myself. Do you see how your loved servant, what he did to me? And I said, nothing. And as a beard for you, I sacrificed for you. Grant me this love, grant me this ish, grant me all these realities. So they're teaching the qurban of dunya, you're struggling to give a cow, a sheep, a lamb, maybe half a lamb, maybe a, a chicken. <laughs> now Muharram is teaching you from the family, 
there's no chickens and lambs here, it's just you. You're the qurban and you'll be zabiyat. At some point you will be really zabiyat because now the world is entering into its last phase. Are you ready? You're looking for something easy? So then they come to teach, oh no, no, we'll show you how to reach there. And that's the example of their lives and the holy companions. All the companions died. The four great companions poisoned, betrayed and killed because of course they're the examples of being qurban. They were the qurban for Sayyidina Muhammad we served your nation and all they did was kill us. Not outside people, Allah didn't permit anyone outside to do that. Only the nation had permission to do that. Why? So that they would be granted to be a qurban for Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result of that sacrifice they would intercede for those who harmed them. And that's the immense beauty of Allah's justice. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding and the realities and the haqqaiqs of hajj and, and so many unimaginable events are taking place in the world of soul with only Allah that people can't even imagine. And all you have to do is just come into their association and hold on. Whatever they're talking from their heart, they're dressing you from that reality and they've been given permission to even describe that reality. This permission doesn't come without the sword of Sayyidina Mahdi right next to them. Because had in any other time in life they talked, 10,000 people would have attacked them. And now let's see if they dare one because that sword comes after their head. And only with that permission those realities and haqqaiqs are pushing through, pushing through, pushing through. Why? Because a deeper reality is coming. So when they reach to that reality, reach to that blessings, so then how do you drink from the kawthar on this earth? Every word they speak and every knowledge you're hearing from YouTube, from Facebook, from rebroadcast, it doesn't matter. From their tongue is a fountain of kawthar. As soon as you hear it, you have drank from their kawthar. And that kawthar is the secret of Hayyul Qayyum. When you're depressed, listen to the talks. When you're anxious, listen to the talks. When your energy is down, listen to the talks. You're drinking from kawthar realities and you should be listening to them all the time if it's the kawthar that you want. They will come into the being and the truth is more powerful than falsehood and falsehood by its nature is perishing. So every time you hear the teaching it's a truth that comes in and begin to shatter everything wrong inside the heart, begin to shatter everything in the head. If you can't take it in your head, what did Sayyidina Khidr said to Nabi Musa Be patient and don't ask a question regarding this reality until I give you permission. And this is Qur'an. Why? Of course when a truth comes into your head, your head is filled with every type of false understanding. It hits it and every false idol within your brain begin to use your tongue to speak. Your heart's not speaking and asking something back. Your false idol took control of your tongue and gave a sharp answer back. Somebody asked about the reality of something, as soon as they give a reply that these are the haqqaiqs, ooh they started to curse because the idol got angry inside that, what are you talking about? So why Sayyidina Khidr Allah gave that up, don't ask anything because when they start hitting you with truth, stay quiet until this truth goes in there and start cutting everything up, cutting everything up. Let it to come in and begin to disconnect every wrong in your head. You've been raised with lies from going to the moon to Santa Claus from Coca-Cola, from Easter bunnies laying eggs, everything has been a lie on this earth. 
and you want the truth to come, it has to come like a sword and We pray that Allah give us patience inshaAllah. Mm. Hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa, Ma Basiri Surat al Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.